I'm Joe Riccio. Welcome to episode one of the Food Coma Show. Uh, we're at Bresca in Portland, Maine, a small 18-seat restaurant owned by Krista Desjardins. I'm with four of my friends. We're about to sit down and eat and drink our faces off uh, for a few solid hours. Burger King did uh, table service? No. Uh, Burger King had table service. They actually had Dan Cortez, MTV Sports, as a spokesperson. Oh, yeah, Dan. Uh, 1986, oh. 87, you went to it's Burger King. Rex. My yeah. grandmother would it's bring me Rex. to the Burger King, and we'd sit, and they'd bring you uh, a basket of popcorn on the, ta uh, for, on the table. You'd, order your, like you'd go up and order your food, and they'd be like, all right. And they'd have like popcorn. the sh fried shrimp basket and stuff like that. Burger. Not that I ever ordered the Burger. fried shrimp basket, but... <laughs> And then, yeah, so anyway, so Burger King did table service, and um, nobody really gave a shit. Yeah. Everybody was like, yeah, good, I could have just taken the food, actually. I, I waited two seconds. I could have got it at the counter. Yeah, right. it's basically like, do you want to wait longer for your food, but... So they don't do it anymore. So we came to Bresca. <laughs> right, because ever since Burger King stopped yeah, table stop service, I've been coming candles, here to Bresca, uh, and they really, and they get this, they're really good at the table service. I feel like this, the waitress, maybe she worked at Burger King at one point, like, uh, you guys want to start with some bubbly? I'm fucking... Yes, oh. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I'm ready. Please. Look, we even already have the proper glasses. Look, there happens we to me, it's because I called ahead, and I was like, hey... Do you have table service? Great. <laughs> Me, if I order a bottle of something that uh, uh, something alcoholic, will, will the server bring that to the table for me, or is that a counter service kind of situation? And can we swear yes. on this show? Yes. Fuck yeah. Let's get some fucking wine. Okay. Tell, us about, tell us about who you are and okay. why and where we are. All right, Krista Kern Desjardins. You're at Bresca, Portland, Maine. You're the executive chef and owner of Bresca. <laughs> chef. Yeah, executive of few, yeah, executive <laughs> chef of many. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about what we're going to be eating today. What okay, um, uni toast, uh, fresh uni, which is beautiful, um, sea urchin, and that is going to be on a little uh, focaccia toast that we're going to just put on the barbecue out back, and, and um, a little kombu butter and hot mustard oil. So. Just a nice, fresh, you know, buttery taste of the sea, and um, little garden, which is just um, a little tomato uh, tarte tan, which is traditionally made with apples, but we're making it because it's tomato season, so it's beautiful. Um, inverted with food farm greens, which come from my garden at home, and then crispy smoky pork belly, roasted slow, caramelized, served with a little smoke on it, and then chicken noodle is going to be a little interpretation of chicken done in a pot. Um, with herbs and root vegetables and things like that, but then the noodle kind of swing into more of a Chinese noodle inspired um, with the gravy coming from the chicken to be poured over the noodles with a six minute egg and um, a salsa verde, which will be more like a, a relish on that. And then dessert is a nice summer Napoleon, um, pluots and strawberries, because they're still great right now. Mousse, strawberry balsamic ice cream, and then a second dessert of chocolate panatier, which is a nice hazelnut on the cake with foie gras ice cream, sautéed apricots, caramel sauce, all that kind of goodness together to finish it all out because why not? Oh, yeah. There you go. So this is a uh, Ferrari Brut. Uh, this is Italian sparkling, but it's not Prosecco. Uh, basically, it's made in the same manner that champagne is made. Now, has everybody eaten at Bresca before, or are you, it's your first time here? First time here. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's small. It's, uh, nice. as you can see, if, yeah. you haven't, if you haven't actually figured that out, it's small. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it doesn't really, the style of food kind of changes a lot. I, I've actually attended a dinner here where we did a screening of Rocky IV and did all, like, kind of Russian and Estonian food, and she did a dessert that had the shape, was shaped like Ivan Drago's hair. It was a that's, souffle, and it know. was amazing. Yeah. So that's wow. the kind of shit she does here, which is amazing. So. Yeah. Thank you, Dallas. 
<laughs> so, Julie, you've been to the Olympics twice. Three Correct. times. Three times. Three times. Ooh. When? Consecutive Olympics? Uh, well, 92 was Albertville, France, and then we were lucky as the Winter Olympians that year because that was the year they decided to go every two years. So then we went in 94. And then I went again in 98. Someone was quoting the statistics for like the Beijing Olympics that uh, apparently they have at the little health center for all the Olympians, which there are quite a few of. But they have something like they had planned ahead because essentially you're getting like thousands of 12 to 26 year old kids together. Who are really attractive. And yeah. good well, they're really good. They can like bend the their legs game. behind their backs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess not so, all of them are attractive. So there is they, Jordan they Weaver. The <laughs> How they many condoms did they get? About two hundred thousand condoms, and they oh, still ran out. Wow. In, in the two-week period, they ran well, out. In my day, it was only like twenty thousand. Only twenty. Oh, we weren't God. quite as really. Why am I the only one who finished my champagne? There's gonna be a lot of Olympic Uh because oh. you were the only one drinking fast enough to finish it, babe. I don't know how to. And also, it she was trying. <laughs> and also, she was trying to reach over to give it to you, and I was like, no. no. Yeah, oh, that's like, right. That's you did right. the whole like the, the concerned wife thing that you're like, I don't know about that. <laughs> so this is the Henry Bourgeois Polyfume that I have for you. Would you like a taste? Uh, let this shit head taste it, please. <laughs> Uh, but no, actually, we might want to know if it's okay or not. Actually, yeah. <laughs> Suppose give it to me. No, 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 like gun flint. Look at that nose. Oh, yeah. That, that, that nose, 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 come on. Nose. That doesn't even fucking yeah. run. Pour it away. Get your weak ass nose yeah. out of here. You Live on the edge. You can't hold the glass by the bowl. Then again. No, I'm a man. <laughs> no, I know, man. It drives me crazy. Yeah. It drives me crazy. Then we'll know what's going on. Because I'm for a reason. No, you got it by, <laughs> by the face. No, no, You can grip it like a man. Yeah. Look at her. Like that, like that, and then go like this, and then like that, and then you swirl it, and then you suck, and then you just hold it like a man. It's like, a, it's mom, like gun time. smell it, and you pretend yeah. you, you smell what it sure smells like. You make sure that Pui Fui Mei smells like the Civil War. Mm, loon meat. Oh, it smells like a Civil War battlefield. <laughs> loon meat right? and bald eagle wing. Dunsky. Then... Oh, you. <laughs> All right. Oh, look. Course number one here. Hell yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Nice. Best suckers. But nothing's ever hot. Nice. So we got sea urchin, which is the gonads, and an actually androgynous uh, creature. So you're eating the gonads here. Anybody have you had If they're androgynous, if they're androgynous, do they have gonads? Well, they're well, exactly. hermaphroditic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm a retard. This takes me back. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> wait, was this gonads? Yeah. I love ball. I love <laughs> eating ball gonads. We love gonads. Has everybody had uni here? Suppose you had her family. What? Have you had urchin? I've never had urchin. No. Oh. the ocean. It is delicious. Mm, this is amazing. Yeah. Mm. This is delicious. What is one of those things, I have to be honest, like, when it's good like this, it's delicious, and when it's bad, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Ordering uni is kind of like buying acid. Buy it from somebody that you trust. Ooh. You know, like, don't necessarily buy it from just fucking anybody. Like yeah. you want to make sure you're right. getting reasonable shit. Get Although I will say that you'll know a lot quicker with bad uni than bad acid. This stuff, poi for me, is delicious. Mm -hmm. Actually, like I said the smokiness with the saltiness of the of the, the urchin is actually mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember when I was like, when the AIDS thing happened, there was a video you could rent for free called oh, Time Out we at the AIDS video now. store with Arsenio Hall hosted it. Oh, he was with great. With Magic Johnson, Arsenio, you could rent. It was a free rental because they wanted. Anybody who would actually rent for like all the nine year olds. <laughs> why to this day I will champion Arsenio Hall. And not just because, because of time of out. No, well, oh that and I would say coming to America. That. And ooh, ooh, this. Well, you love them. I love ooh, this. Ooh, ooh. Sometimes I question why I even hang out with you. So because you're so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> all right. What, you, and you're the one who doesn't know who Keith Haring is. I don't even know who the fuck that person is. And I look, I've done just fine. Yeah, that you're definitely not popular. Regardless. Even I know. I mean, I don't really? know. Who, I, I have no idea who the fuck that is. That like, he was like the Andy Warhol. He did that. Yeah, things? totally. Yeah. He, did, yeah. Yeah. he did, like, dude. He, he did, did that on Netflix. Those remind me of the wacky inflatable arm flailing yeah. Superman. Okay, no, he, it's like, well, well they never would have gotten it yeah. without him. Yeah. But I think that, so he developed wacky inflatable arm flailing yeah. two men. And yeah. that <laughs> what? He even did stuff for MTV. Yeah. Yeah. He did have to cut this short after he beats us up. We'll be right, smoking this is... on this Gobblesburger. Yeah. <laughs> so Gobblesburger Rosé. Smoking this Gobblesburger. Can someone come Julie to my place. house and get weed? Can you so, let us know? It's, let me get Joel some weed. It was under self, I'm sure. This is my 
like grease stained glass. Yep. Yeah, flips you. So, okay, I see yeah. that. Those are your paw prints. Glass, I see. Yep. MBD, man. On a scale of 1 to 116.5, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Go. 78.2. Oh, that's not good. That's Send it back. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Seventy-eight. Yeah. 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 We don't want to drink. I'm not a big rosé fan. When I give you a scale and you hit me in the middle, that means that's not the middle. That's the higher she, end. She it's the middle tier. Of the middle. Was it's the I middle of the middle tier. Yeah. You have, don't know what it's like to be judged. Except for the Olympics. This rosé is uh, delectable. It's not a seventy-eight. It's from Austria. It's, I think it's more than a 78.2. You know, if you're actually using all of those points, it's definitely well above average. It's about 50. Okay. And so it's solidly up there in the 70s. And it's I mean, cool. I like it. As an it's expert on rosé, I fucking like it. You are. It's supposed to be an expert on rosé. Two weeks Presumably. before my first Olympics, and I was like a superstar. I was first yeah. in the world that year. I was rock and rolling. Okay. I was heading for a win at the Olympics. I was winning every, almost every slalom event. I was kicking some butt. Training in Austria, and a tourist is sitting there in the middle of the course, hanging out, looking at the view. And I'm going 45 miles an hour in a top. I don't see him, and I just slammed right into him, right here. And had 13 stitches in my lip, had four teeth knocked out, had all these teeth like pushed back. Oh my God. Yeah, and the first reaction was I was so pissed. I went down to the local clinic, and they pulled all my teeth back. And Meanwhile, the guy gets in his car, and I knew how much dental work it cost. And I'm yelling at my teammates, like, stop that guy, don't let him get away, he's gotta pay for this. You know, yeah, they, yeah, they don't yeah. have insurance, we're not covered under the ski team's insurance. So that, I'm like oh, spitting okay. teeth and blood out at this guy, and my coach just turned green and passed out. And he said, is there any teeth left in my mouth? And he's like, I see one or two. Oh no my <laughs> yeah, god. Bad. So you lost teeth that many teeth. Yeah. How four, many well, teeth did I you lose? Four. Let's I lost talk about four. It. One, four. two, three, four. And then these were all pushed back. Well, because he is so you have to replace them all. Yeah. At 40 miles an hour. They have to take oh those God. out. So, the ones that were well. Dave, it's like getting punched in no. the face at 40 miles an hour. Yeah, it was bad. That's not good. At 20, oh, as a 21 bad. year old woman. Skier babe. Like, it's kind of like losing babe. your virginity to Joel. More <laughs> 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 does, does it, does it not, not taste like cum? So Spose did not like his first experience with I didn't want to say I didn't like the sea urchin, well, but I didn't like the sea urchin. It tasted like salt water beach. So yeah, the sea urchin to me, I feel like, tastes like a uh, mermaid's vagina. See, if I had thought that, <laughs> yeah, I would have been, been like, oh, it's salty like, like vagina. About that. Spose, look, more food for you. It won't oh, taste like cool. Oh, wow. Uh, that is the coolest plate I've ever seen in my life. Nice. That, that is pretty amazing. That's right there. This is Krista applying her craft. Her. <laughs> her, her, her craft. But her applying her dessert craft to the salad. I'd be hard pressed to pick what she's best at. Mm. One of the well, things that I she would is be notorious is dessert. dessert. Yeah. I'd say she's probably one of the top five pastry chefs in the country. Yes, in, I yeah, would say that. Absolutely. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Easily, yeah. Okay. easily the best in Maine. I mean, the yeah. fact yeah. that we have her like here in Portland, yeah. Maine, and that like few people know it, is criminal. Oh, look at this. Guys. Check this oh. out. Get oh, my God. Like, See, oh. here we go. See, and then there's... And then there's like, like, is it So that's a, a mountain yes. of pork belly, and look, it's in some smoke. Holy God, those birds. Ah, uh, uh, amazing. Margo, what do we have here? It smells like campfire. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, cool. So immediately oh, you're yeah. taken to somewhere else. Yeah. And, uh... So we have here the smoky caramelized pork belly, of course. And of course. then um, in front of you, you have a sad tomato tart tartine with a Boo Farm um, garden salad tossed in a tomato vinaigrette and topped with candied garlic. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you, Krista. Absolutely. <laughs> the salad itself is like the best pizza you've ever had. We have it. Like the pastry with the tomato. Is this like holy a... shit? Yeah, that is amazing. This right. is where her. Oh, crap, yeah, that is insane. Give me some pork. Okay. So some your blanc, by the way, is a uh, Chenin blanc. That's the well, in the Loire Valley, it's pretty much two white grapes: Sauvignon blanc and Chenin blanc. Some year, Shannon. It's damn good. 
<laughs> I gotta yeah. say, I've never had a salad like this. I've never yeah. had a salad yeah, like this with the meat separate and with the, well, the way it tastes. Where, and it's so good. It and touches it's not so good. Where it touches on like a number mm. of flavor. Profile. And it's not mm-hmm. as and it's not so uncommon taste that I'm not familiar. Like I'm, I know all these tastes. Like yeah. I've had these before. You know, even my mom couldn't cook, and That's I've had all point. this stuff before. I've just never had it cooked so good. You know. It, it, this is, uh, that, well, that's why you come here instead of doing it at home. What do you think of this wine, by the way, guys? Oh, no. Because this wine actually wine. has a bit of sweetness, too. Yeah. And actually, it's perfect with the salad. And it really works with the salad. Yeah, it doesn't get killed by the sweetness. I suppose you're like this one. This is the, the uh, so can... this is the Mas de the Bumble Clock. <laughs> I don't really care what them one do, but I'm a master gorgonye. I'm on way number two. That's how you say it. Mario, how would you say it? Master gorgonye! <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. Beautifully, beautifully presented. This wine is not from Jamaica. This year in Jamaica, this is all they're drinking right now. No, yeah. no more baby That's sham. Why. Yeah. This is what Usain Bolt is Bolt Bolt pouring on bitches. Yeah. He's like. Yeah. The Master Gorgonier, John Dietz, why don't you tell us all about this wine that Spose is about to sample for us? Mm. From the heart Check of Provence. Check it out. Check out my skills now. It's made of all types of grapes. Live it's and delicious. Learn. It's red. It's wine. <laughs> Spose, spread those wings like eagle. From the fantastic 2009 vintage. Wow, well done. Done. It's like I killed Sasquatch and drank his blood. <laughs> so good. That's what Sasquatch we like. That's blood. What we like. Make, so it, make good. it rain, make it Sasquatch blood. Yeah. Oh, Penny. From Provence. I'm part Jamaican, so that, you know, that That's good. Need some monster meat. Yeah, that's good with braised monster meat. <laughs> braised Sasquatch. <laughs> Wow, man. Look at that. Roasted you know, to golden roasted perfection. Yeah. There are a few things more beautiful than a perfectly roasted chicken. Am I right or am I wrong? This is a clay pot roasted chicken um, served with a garden veggie medley of carrots, potatoes, and onions. There are some Asian noodles that will be accompanying it. Fabulous. Yeah. What? Oh my god, look, holy shit, look at this. Margo the Don't mind blower. Yet. No. Don't start. Oh, okay, so we have a. Okay, wow. Damn, Margo. These are Asian noodles with some quailed egg, salsa verde. Mm. Yeah. This is so Mine jiggles more. <laughs> that smells <laughs> like heaven. Can I just tell you? Mm. Ah. Oh my god. Like, <sighs> oh, is that? That's more oh, like a gravy. Oh, it's like gravy. Holy gravy. Wow. Damn, Margo. Thank you. Holy wow. S H I T for those of you. <laughs> Spell. Who, can, who can spell? <laughs> that spells shit. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what happens you when you first. take the yolk and you, you spread it. I'll take the rest. I'll take the rest. Your You're more important and more I'll sexy take this. than me. <laughs> oh my fuck! Look at that egg. Oh, that egg is delightful. We need delightful. another shot of this egg. That <laughs> tastes like if the pilgrims had landed in China instead of Native America. Oh, if you're gonna put yard bird on your menu, yeah, respect it. Respect the yard bird. Like, don't Thank mess you. around and make it an afterthought. No, chicken should taste like this. This is the best fucking non-breakfast egg I've ever had in my this life. Is, this yeah. egg is fucked up, man. So good. Yeah. So good. So good, man. Everything, the chicken's good. Even these potatoes are fucking good. Any right? idea where they're, these potatoes are from? Are you using the serving for? They're, they're probably from like- <laughs> Yeah, I, <guess>. I mean. <laughs> I mean, why fuck around? It's a bigger fork. I suffer from a disease called, I don't give a fuck. (laughs) And I eat this shit however the fuck I want to. (laughs) Yeah, when I was over there riding donkeys up in Greece, bareback, I brought back some muscat with me, so. Samos. You see that picture of me on the donkey? I didn't see that picture. I gotta Google it. Oh, we gotta get on that. Now oh. that tops. That's like uh, that tops everything. a dried apricot. That's, that's yeah, that's what. beautiful. What? Holy uh-huh. shit! That's a Napoleon. Oh my god! Yeah. Is there, Napoleon. Wait, this yeah. is all one dessert. That's a Napoleon. Ah! Yeah, this is a Napoleon that did not get banished to the. Is it Al- Alba where he got banished? Okay, to? so oh, earlier when we were looking at the menu, is... you were saying this looked disappointing. No, that's. Do you still no, think it looks no, disappointing? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. No. So, so, tell us about this. Right. Dessert. Yeah, what the hell is this? This is our summer Napoleon. 
Um, it's layered with fresh strawberries, white chocolate mousse, um, a strawberry and plucot compote, which... Pluot? Pluot, thank you. They're fun to eat and they're fun to stick <laughs> in. Don't forget it, don't get it twisted. Oh, then with yeah, house-made well. raspberry sorbet and strawberry balsamic. Oh drink. my oh. god! <gasps> that is don't. But yeah. I only really see three sections here. Five of them. Yeah, Joel and I are gonna share. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. That's how you do a family style. That was lovely. Family. That was really well done. You're a beautiful <laughs> specimen. With your upside down cross and your yellow shirt <laughs> and your Keith Haring hat, it's just mm. yeah, and your hands across America, a beautiful no, people oh, hat. No, you don't even know what Keith Haring is. Bucktard. Bucktard. Give me your napkin. Does he like milk? <laughs> you know what? You, I want you to Google Keith Haring and then find out how out of touch you are. Yeah, even even run DMC. You know the thing about me is I go out of my head when you're not around. That's how fucking out of touch I am. <laughs> I love you. That's how out of touch Ooh, I am. Out of mouth. Yes, That's nice. how out of touch I am. <laughs> so who's this guy? Will somebody please tell me who this person is that we've been harassing about not knowing about this whole time? Keith Haring, are you seriously fucking? I have no fucking clues who Keith Haring is either. All right. Do you he know doesn't him? know either. I will you know tell you right, right now. Do you know He's who Picasso is? It. Yes. He's a fucking famous as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Keith Haring, Keith Haring is, he does. Does. is uh, yeah. really there. Yes. Yes. No, yes. calm down, calm down. <laughs> Keith Haring is an early 80s. Yeah, but he's not that good. All he does is that. It was busted. He My was point. one of the first people okay. in the New York scene in the early Okay, 80s. you know what? I decided Food Coma Episode 2, we're going to have hologram Keith Herring at the fucking table. But, but, and it's going to be amazing. It, it's sort of like asking why Magic yeah, Johnson is significant. Like, why not? No know, hologram? Like, it's going to be it's, funny? It's like, you know, here's a fucking icon. Right. So it's many not people. because he had AIDS. It's right. because no. he was a great basketball player. Yeah, okay. Exactly. He's a basketball well, player? When, when I don't Aaron, know. Magic I, Johnson I, was. I don't know. <laughs> How about instead? Yeah, the hell is going on here? Yeah. Oh uh, shit. Look Ooh. at this. Wow. Beautifully. Beautifully. Whoa, what? So we have here a bittersweet chocolate financier Ooh. with. Financier. Financier. It's um, a tort it's a made French with hazelnut flour. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, crispy katafi, um, apricots, and foie gras ice cream. Hell yeah. Get foie the fuck out of my face. Thank you very Thank you, Mario. Oh, it's like the best brownie you could ever hope to experience in your entire life. I have to admit, I'm completely full, and I just wanted to eat this so bad that I, I want to yeah. keep eating. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to throw out a term that. I think Krista coined many years ago, but mm. textural what? interplay. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, there's all types of crunchy, sweet, gooey. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's all there, man. You know, yeah. You know. Tabresca? Yeah. I want some. Tabresca. Tabresca and Krista? Yeah. Margo and Margo really? and Margo. The Fukuoka Show. Really? Yeah. First episode. We'll see you in episode two. Yeah, cool. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here, everybody. And uh, I don't know where the fuck we're going to end up now. I'm sure it's not going to go well. I'm sure I'm going to end up tomorrow uh, wondering where the hell I am when I actually... Uh, I'll see you guys at the, the Auburn Burger King. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Table service. That's where it's All the Olympic Thank athletes. You. Cheers, everybody. So join us next time for episode two of The Food Coma Show. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook at The Food Coma Show or on Twitter. Uh, somebody else be running that because I don't fucking tweet. I don't know what to tell you. There it is. Thanks for coming. Replace them. Taste when I was 22. And I got caught in a champagne supernova in, in the, the sky. sky.